players have won their first match. And at the start of this game, best of three, two serves each on the way to 15 points. You need two games to win this match. Winner of this one goes through into the last 32 draw. Loser will play the very, very last game on this table this afternoon uh, as a survival. And they will play the winner of um, Yan Weihao and John Misao. Yeah, interesting game this will be. Colin, it'll be interesting to see how well Peter does now he's not playing a defender, because obviously the ball's going to be travelling at him a lot faster. Um, and he started off OK. Don't come much tougher than, of course, his opponent here, Andrew Bagley. Winner the last two years. Gets the net back. That's a gorgeous for backhand down the line. Chooses to play it slow. So when Peter's away from the table, no rush. Oh, Peter went for the big one. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Peter's backhand's like, Colin, because he didn't have to use it against Szymanski at all. I think he only hit it once or twice and missed when he did. So we'll see what it's really like here. Yeah, well, that's pretty good backhands. So tough against Bagley, of course, now. Bagley's obviously had that first game. He's in the zone, and it's going to be really hard for Peter to work his way into this game. Yeah, so short to the forehand. Backhand to backhand. Peter pretty good with his backhand. Yeah, started solidly with it. But uh, it's not good enough just to get one on. Another net cord. It's not good enough to get one on. You go get three, four on the trot. Mm, not quite sure Peter knows what to do, how to get back into the table once he's been forced away and he's defending with some chopping. Let's serve. Let service. So. Let's serve. Let's serve again. So the first one was a short one, the second one was a long one. Goes back to the short one again. He can't get over the top of the net. There you go. Forehand flick from Andrew. Top of the net after that as well. Okay, so Peter clearly happy to run around and get his forehand in as much as he can. Pretty solid backhand, not quite up to the standards of our current world champion. Now we see when you're under the pressure of playing such class players, you can see how easy it is to try too hard and make unforced errors. Indeed. Peter's not really looking bad, doing, um, doing a lot wrong. It's just the sheer pressure and consistency that Andrew's forcing, making Peter think and think and think about what he can do. The other thing is, of course, that Peter had such a physically draining match against Philip Szymanski, and he's not had as long as rest as Andrew has had in between his matches. That's true. And now suddenly Peter played against a completely different style, whereas uh, Andrew played someone not too dissimilar in styles to his current opponent. That's Peter Graham from Northern Ireland. That's a lovely backhand from Peter. So we now know that Peter's a good all-round player. But Andrew looks very comfortable in the groove. Just the right amount of pressure to keep Peter mentally on the back foot. Not quite sure exactly what he's going to have to do to win this. Appreciative nod from Peter. He knows that Andrew Bagley is playing very solid now. Away from the table. Bit of chopping. Szymanski impressions from Andrew Bagley. Yeah, Peter oh, looked well. at home there after having that match against Szymanski. <laughs> He's done about a thousand of those. Yeah. And that's a beautiful oh, backhand mean. from Andrew Bagley. Decides to open it out a little bit more. What happened there was Peter played it a little bit higher and a tiny bit shorter. Andrew pounced on it, gave it the extra topspin onto his toes, and that went uh, straight past Peter. So, game points to Andrew Bagley, current ping pong champion. So let me just clarify, the loser of this game gets another chance to qualify, but they will have to beat the winner of Ian de Graaf and Hal Moo. So, if you don't win this one, all of a sudden, there's nothing easy to come. Getting himself revved up for the second game. 15-5, he won the first. He's already beaten Love Peter one. Graham from Northern Ireland. Peter will see back on this table in match number seven. This is match number five this afternoon. Nice forehand from Peter. Good power. That's what he was doing against 
Philip Szymanski, the defender, wow. is doing similar shots. And Andrew's away from the table, playing roles from away from the table. What a great rally this is. It's amazing watching Bagley, isn't it, Colin? The way he springs up into every shot. It's the only player that really does that. You see his absolute explosion from his legs. He does. And he's actually using his feet to push up. So he springs off onto his toes when, uh, when he's away from the table to get that extra lift. Two one. Oh, slower rally. So Peter's slowing it down. And that time he was happy to stay away from the table. And Bagley made the error. So a bit, a bit more mature there from Peter when he's away from the table. Not to give up or go for a big one. Just hang in there and you might win it. Nice backhand from Peter. It's not, not, it's not as consistent as Andrew Bagley's. That's a good forehand now from Andrew. There you see he's capable of stepping in and ripping big forehands as well as the backhands. Yeah, lovely forehand there. So if we go back to, um, to London 2012, Andrew was playing in the Olympics. And then just a couple of weeks later, Peter was playing in the Paralympics. I have to say, Peter was the one that got the, uh, got the medal. Yeah, very experienced player, and as you say, uh, a gold medalist in the Paralympics, so he's certainly used to the big stage, but this is very tough for him here. Five, three. <laughs> Andrew stamping his foot into the floor, not happy that he missed that backhand down the line. It's the shorter line, easier to miss, got to make the ball come down once you hit Six, up over three. the net quickly before it goes off the end of the table, and he couldn't do that. So he hasn't quite got his range yet with his backhand down the line. So Bagley Three, mainly seven. playing his backhands across court, very consistent, he's trying to open up the backhands down the line now, thinking about how he's going to do that. He's going to need it if he wins this one and goes through to stronger opposition, opposition later. Four, seven. Okay, so the bottom there, Group B, Shmiriev wins. Kazatsu beats Matt Ware of England, two games to one. Grunewald, the very talented Eight. Dutchman, Eight. threw in straight sets. And that's Shmiriev through 2 0. That puts Shmiriev through into the last 32 of the championships, I think. So, last year's finalists, Bagley and Shmiriev, on course so far. Yeah, we're at that stage of the game again, where in the first, first game, Nine, the pressure started to tell on past. We started to make lots of errors, and then unfortunately for him, it's beginning to happen again. It was quite, a, quite level in the very early start, but as soon as Andrew gets away, Pallas is just trying to force it too hard, and he's making too many errors. Yeah, top of the net, there's the back end down the line that Bagley wanted to get going. Now, can Peter stay in this, away from the table? Four, ten. So Bagley consistent, but powerful enough. Yeah, that was an interesting shot, wasn't it? When the ball popped up there, Andrew was, didn't want to take on the big smash. He just rolled it back again and then oh, waited yeah. for it to be even easier next time. Yeah, very contained. But just practicing that back and down the line, just expanding that. So Andrew, I think, thinking very carefully about how he's going to play his next matches. Well, Try and groove in the whole range of shots that he's going to need throughout this championship if he's going to get a long way. Ooh, Andrew going for the double, double point. point. 12 4. Tough for Palos. Well, we'll add insult and more injury to injury. So he's going for two points here. The white double point ball. But Peter's in. Well, oh, well done. I mean, it was very professional from Bagley, wasn't it? He wasn't going to, you know, he knew he had to use it by 12 points, so it's there, he's going to use it. But this occasion, Peter fought really hard to the point. Yeah, Peter dealt with it very well, very solid. He's forced away, he's top of the net. Well. And off the table. Now surely Peter's going to take his double point soon, isn't he? 17. You think? Well, if he doesn't take it here, chances are he won't get another chance. Hmm. May not be front of mind, just trying to survive the Fourteen. game. He's focused on the little orange thing. The little ball in front of him. He's match point down. Looks like he won't get a chance to use a double point ball. It's been quite comprehensive from Andrew Bagley. There's the backhand down the line again. That's a pretty comprehensive result. Bagley through to the last.